was Heavenly Grace. So they've got to be pretty strategic about how they approach this fight. Um, Ori has queued up his next item. It's going to be the Blink Dagger. So, well, they are going to go on in top here. Plus, he is going to try for an Ice Shard blocking him in. Nobody nearby, but he's going to get a dismember. Instantly canceled thanks to the split Earth from Zai. But this rot is decimating them as Zai forced the TP out. But the hook back in. Split Earth is coming. He's faking it out. Doesn't do enough damage, though, as Zai could just be walked down on Ori with another stack of flesh. Not. XXS is holding on to it. So this will be a slower kill than what it could be, but it does offer the protection of in case a fight breaks out, he has that BKB unleashed, which is very, very powerful. And yep, yeah, Aster know that they don't need it at all to kill it. They will grab it. Looks like it's going on Monet again, like last game. Could have seen it on Pudge in this one, honestly. I definitely think Ori is in a position to just go crazy with an Aegis, but rather protect Monet. Yeah, Monet always gets the Aegis. For the hero. To the high ground, the hook connects. But the Insania trying to get away, but some good moves. Not going to be enough, though. Split Earth onto the sniper is the rest of Liquid trying to get away in this bot lane. Grapnel slowing him to a crawl. Zai continuing to get headshot. Do they have the stun? They do. Ori with a double kill across the map. Understandable that Mickey tries for it with how many heroes from Aster rotated, but again, Storm just doesn't have enough in the tank, so Solo is the big hero. XXS, that's who they want. Foxy has the Blink Dagger, Walrus Punch as well, but XXX gets off his BKB and Unleash, and now he wants to fight because Ori has come to play. Matu, nice save on the Boxy. It's gonna cost them the Crystal Maiden again. It could have been a lot worse for Liquid. Aster. It yeah. will keep their position three, Marcy alive. All things considered, that was not too terrible. Matsu showing up with the Axe there. Definitely helping out against the Pudge. Yeah. Zip in, they're trying to take out the Omni Knight. The hook from Matsu! That is enough for a kill with the incidentation from Ori. They delete Boxy from the map, so it's a one for one in this little mini engagement. XXS, he's gonna get split Earth with Matsu just right clicking him. Looks like that's gonna be enough with the adaptive strike as well continue to have good formation and very good coverage with wards from the right. Um, top tower. It's Radiant hard to find top. that attack angle that Liquid need, and Aster are gonna constantly pressure this tower with Liquid Fire, with Shrapnel plus attacks from Sniper. Yeah, they will try though. And they wanna get the Omni Knight immediately. Will they get him against Force Sense safety? There's the Guardian Angel just in time. And Mickey has to fly back after dying right off the bat, and Matu is dead as well. A terrible fight for Liquid, as the BKBs have come out from Aster, and now they can just focus down Zai. Another death, another kill for Monet. Ultra kill overall. Ori wants another up, he gets it! Mickey completely out of mana as Monet trying to finish the job, but able to zip away is Mickey again, but Foxy slow to a crawl and a rip! Rather than TP back, basically any hero that could have defended that tower. And I think Matu's gonna... Maybe they just give up the Aegis and Shard and try to get a Rax themselves. Matu going to town on this tier 3, but it's gonna force the TP out. Oh, hero nice actually ice shards, it. But Matu will still be scared off, and that is Roche. And now the... Get this tower kill. Biggest thing defending them from getting into the high ground anyway, on top of the split earth, of course. Radiant's middle tower Lincoln's is pop now. Hook not connecting again from Ori, but there's the punch from Boxy into the hook from Matu. Ori half HP on Monet, but again, he still has the Aegis, and Zai getting destroyed. My goodness, he melted. Freeze and comes out just for a split second, but it matters not. A second death for Liquid. Hook on into Monet, but he gets a cuts of grenade off again. And Liquid crumbling here in game number two. Aster coming back with a vengeance, looking to get the Mega Creeps. Fireback comes out on Matu. It's one last potential stand here from Liquid. Mickey, not able to do too much. A nice Ice Path comes out into the Dual Breath. They find the Pudge finally, but how much is it going to cost them? Boxy ticking away ever so slowly. Matu, the last remaining member of Liquid at the buyback now. Turns into Pudge. Or he's still Pudge, in fact. Has the Rot. Just getting kited. Finally gets disposed back into the ice path. And there's he's actually staying alive thanks to the strength more. Has to reset back into the mountain. Boxy has to be careful. This would be a dieback for him. He's gonna tick away. Matu had 6,000 health because he also had the strength from Pudge. That is a uh, very big boy. The Mega Crits now come out. Aster, massive advantage here. GG still not called. 
Only a matter of time here. The last tier four will fall. Mob to inside, trying to get something up. Really want to kill Monet now that the Aegis is gone, but the Ice Path is there. Hurricane Pike on top, and that is going to be the death of Liquid in game number two. Master, they come back really nicely to push this to three games. Yeah, that's got to be.